At 0525 hours this morning, GTA High Command declared a decisive victory over the Shebans in Ross 128 and Ikea. The species which annihilated the ancients, which devastated Vasuda Prime, which nearly succeeded in driving mankind to extinction, has been defeated. Recon units have found no trace of any remaining Shivan activity. With the Shivans gone, we should be able to start rebuilding our shattered systems and working on forging a lasting alliance with the Vasudans. But there has been a terrible new development. While allied forces throughout Ross 128 engaged the Shivans, fighters and bombers launched from the GTD Repulse secretly attacked, disabled, and destroyed the Krios. Only through the intervention of the Soya Kaze were the survivors recovered. We believe the Krios was destroyed to cover up information it had gathered about rogue activity in the research and development branch of the GTI. Once we had contacted GTA High Command, the Repulse and the R&D fleet immediately sprung into action, pulling out of Ross 128 and heading to Delta Serpentis. Command has authorized all GTA units to consider these forces hostile and to capture or destroy them at any opportunity. Our agents have pieced together the events leading up to the Krios' destruction by analyzing the evidence salvaged from them. A summary of the report follows. The Krios' interrogations of the Einstein survivors suggest that research and development knew about the existence of the Shivan even before their initial appearance at Ross 128. Several science vessels, including the Einstein, were assigned to secretly study this new species and its technology. We believe the Einstein was deployed to Ross 128 and then reported destroyed so that the ship could continue its research operations without fear of outside supervision. While R&D was instrumental in enabling the GTA and PVE fleet to quickly close the technological gap on the Shivans during the Great War, events strongly suggested that the Repulse and its fleet were keeping their most significant discoveries to themselves. Based on the Einstein's appearance at the Vasudan research site in Deneb, Admiral Scott theorized that there could be an unknown number of ghost R&D ships conducting research unaccountable to the rest of the GTA. This theory was given further support when pilots from the Krios blundered upon a secret recovery operation in Ross 128 and came under fire from rogue ships. With the Krios slowly assembling evidence, the rogue elements grew in increasing danger of being exposed. The Repulse sought to destroy this information before it reached critical mass and soon found the perfect opportunity. With the Krios' fighter wings and support craft engaging the Shivans on Ross 128, the destroyer was left virtually undefended. The Rebels launched bombers against the Krios while sanitizing several Spec Ops operations and jamming the transmissions of others under the guise of monitoring scientific data. Only the pilots attacking the SDR con returned early enough to witness the destruction of the Krios, and it was only because of their quick thinking that we were able to recover enough evidence to implicate research and development. We have taken care to spread that information far enough that it can no longer be covered up. The silent threat has been forced into the open. We do not yet know the full extent of the insurrection, nor the rebels' motives or objectives. Unfortunately, our maneuvers against the Shivans have left our fleets at serious risk of guerrilla attacks from within. While the GTA consolidates its forces, the Soyakaze has been tasked with gathering all the data we can about the enemy's objectives. We cannot allow them the element of surprise. Report for mission briefings immediately. At ease, pilots, and welcome to the 82nd Nighthawks. I understand you're still a little shaken up after the destruction of the Krios, but rest assured, the R&D Rebels will get what's coming to them, sooner or later. Terran Command and the officers of the Soyakaze are still analyzing data regarding the R&D insurrection and preparing a counterattack. You'll be fully briefed when the time comes. The situation is developing in Delta Sepentis. Slipping behind our rear defenses, the Repulse launched a surprise attack against the diplomatic installations orbiting Delta Serpentis IV. Terran and Vasudan forces responded quickly, but by the time they arrived, the orbital annex of the Vasudan embassy was wiped out. The loss of life was less than would be expected from such an attack, 
But our communications with the receiving government have been thrown into disarray. Needless to say, the incident did not include the very receiving relations. Although the repulse has since gone into hiding, the GTA isn't taking any chances. The survivors of the attack are currently being relocated to fortified positions within the town to see the fleet. Diplomats, officers, and supply convoys are currently on route to a secure rendezvous point within the Delta Sigma system, where they will be joined by the GTC Challenger and the PVC Backpack. Unfortunately, RMD has access to our fleet communications network, so it is quite likely that the convoys will fall under attack. You must defend the convoys until the Challenger and Bastet arrive. Once the cruisers have relieved you, you may return to the Soya Cause. Do not fail, pilot. Dismissed.
attack. I'm sure the food providers are off doing something important. Yeah, like spying on us. If you ask me, we never should have let them into Delta Serpentis. I didn't ask you. Shut up. They can hear you. I don't care if they can. They can't do anything on their own. That's why they came running to us as soon as the Sheevans attacked. That's why they need us to guard everyone up there. Stupid con. Rearming complete, sir. You have a loud mouth, Terra. If you knew the truth, you would not say such things. Hey, I'll say whatever I want, fish lover. If it weren't for us, you wouldn't have a fleet to run home to. You couldn't even stop the Lucifer from glassing your planet. Aging the enemy. Congratulations! Your achievements have been noted, and you are duly awarded the rank of Lieutenant Commander. Good job, Alpha. Thanks to you, the majority of the survivors were successfully evacuated. They have been placed under Allied protection, and the GTA is now working to restore ordered communication with the PVE. 
Your protection of the freighters ensured that the refugees were well supplied when they arrived at their shelter. Well done. Alpha 4 exhibited conduct unbecoming of an officer of the GTA and has been disciplined accordingly. Let me remind you that all pilots have a responsibility to adhere to the highest standards of behavior, especially in their interactions with the Sudans. With the repositioning of the GTA and PVE fleets in Delta Serpentis, the way is clear for our forces to begin the counterattack. The next briefing will be at 1400 hours this afternoon. Don't be late.